Julia Fellow is at St. Mark AME Church where there was a prayer vigil tonight. Julia. And the Reverend here tells me he knows two of the shooting victims in Charleston, South Carolina. He tells me the conversation should not be about faith, but about race and change. It was very shocking to hear that somebody that I knew was a victim. We want that sadness and that grief to spur us into constructive action. Knowing two of the victims makes this even more painful. Reverend Darrell Williams delivered a wake up call. The same factors that led to that tragedy in South Carolina exist here in our community. This vigil is in solidarity with Mother Emanuel in South Carolina. Members are of the same denomination. To give hope where there is no hope. And to take action. The way that we can be proactive is to make sure that we push our legislatures to write bills that could have some impact. We shall overcome. Leaders from other faiths stood with Reverend Williams, a rabbi telling the crowd, hate can only be learned. This is how these kinds of things happen that a 21 year old boy can live in such hate. He didn't do it in a vacuum. Christian leaders say healing is needed everywhere. That if we don't want to gather for another prayer vigil in response to violence, then we are called to act. Raoul Dubé lost his godfather during the 2012 Sikh temple shooting, but after that tragedy, he saw signs of hope. These incidents bring us together. There is a lot of crowd inside over there. That gives a clear message that when these incidents happen, we tend to bring each other together. And Democratic State Senator Lena Taylor was also in attendance today. She says she plans to work with church leaders to help them get in contact with local lawmakers. Reporting live on Milwaukee's north side, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Yeah, good to see there can be harmony after pain. Thank you, Julia.